Windows 95 changed everything, but Windows 98 is the version people actually lived with. After the massive shift introduced by Windows 95, Microsoft had a problem. They had reinvented how people used computers, but the experience still wasn't smooth. Drivers were messy, hardware support was inconsistent, plug and play didn't always play nice. Windows 98 wasn't about changing the world again, it was about fixing it. By the time Windows 98 launched in 1998, PCs were becoming household staples. Families were sharing a single computer, the internet was exploding in popularity, and people expected their machines to work without constant troubleshooting. That's where Windows 98 stepped in. At first glance, it looked familiar. The start menu was still there, the taskbar hadn't changed much, the desktop felt instantly recognizable to anyone coming from Windows 95, but under the hood, things were different. Hardware support was dramatically improved. Drivers were easier to install. Plug and play finally started to live up to its promise, most of the time. And for the first time, USB actually mattered. Windows 95 technically supported USB, but in practice, it was unreliable and rarely used. With Windows 98, USB became usable for everyday people. Keyboards, mice, printers, scanners, you could plug them in and expect results. This was a huge deal. Windows 98 also leaned heavily into the Internet era. Internet Explorer was tightly integrated into the operating system. Web browsing felt like a core part of the PC experience, not an add-on. For better or worse, this marked the beginning of Windows as a platform deeply tied to the web. Gaming also benefited. DirectX support improved. Compatibility was better. For many gamers, Windows 98 became the go-to OS for years. And for families, this was the computer they trusted. It wasn't perfect, crashes still happened, and the blue screen of death never fully disappeared. But compared to Windows 95, things felt calmer, smoother, and more predictable. This is why so many people remember Windows 98 so fondly. It wasn't flashy, it wasn't revolutionary, it just worked. There was also Windows 98 Second Edition, often called 98 SE. This is the version many people actually ran because it fixed lingering issues and improved networking even further. But the important thing is this. Windows 98 represents the peak of the classic DOS-based Windows era. After this, things would change fast. The next release would try to move forward and stumble badly. Many users skipped what came next entirely and stayed on Windows 98 as long as they could. That alone says a lot. Windows 98 didn't make headlines like Windows 95. It didn't redefine computing. But it delivered on the promise Windows 95 made, and sometimes that matters even more. If you've ever plugged in a USB device and expected it to just work, if you remember a family PC that felt reliable, or if Windows 98 was the version you spent the most time on, this is why. And in the next chapter of this series, we're going to talk about what happened when Microsoft tried to push forward and got it very wrong. Windows ME is coming. If you're enjoying this Windows Through the Ages series, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment letting me know which version of Windows you think was the best. And if you want to actually experience operating systems like Windows 98, Windows 95, and dozens more without touching your main PC, check out the ultimate USBs at bootableusbs.com. Windows 98 didn't change everything, but it finally made Windows feel ready for everyone.